Welcome back. And this week's Madeline Motivates. If you are exhausted and feeling at the end of your rope during this ongoing pandemic, you may have reached the point of burnout. We recently learned more than one third of people say they are more burned out on the job today compared to a year ago. That's according to a survey by staffing firm Robert Half. Well, Paul Casey, leadership coach and trainer of Growing Forward Services, says it is possible to burn bright without burning out, even in this era of COVID-19. Well, Paul is on the phone with us right now to share how we can do just that. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Well, Paul, first, how do you know when you've officially reached that point? I'm burnt out. How do you, how do you know? Is it the same experience for everyone? You know, burnout is that feeling of emotional exhaustion. I like to say like you're fried. You just feel like, you know, all your systems are fried. Maybe it's like depersonalization or you feel like a zombie and you have that like feeling of apathy and low personal accomplishment and you're starting to lose perspective. Yeah, that's very true. And I think so many people are feeling this way right now with all the stress in our life. So if you are, if you have reached that point, what do you do um, or, or what signs I, I guess can kind of guide you in the right direction? Yeah, I think we have to recognize the danger signs. Or, or if you think about your car or an airplane as a dashboard, and we have gauges. So each of us have our own gauges that we realize something's just a little bit off. Like for me, it's creativity. I'm an idea guy, and if I don't have ideas for a while, it sort of go dark. I'm like, uh-oh, something, something's wrong here. I might be getting close to burnout. For others, it might be irritability. You're usually uh, a person of, of peace, but now you're starting to snap at your kids or your spouse or your colleagues or you're a worrier now. You're usually a person that has a positive attitude, but all of a sudden now you're worrying about everything. So yeah. you've got to watch those danger signs. And then once you've spot those danger signs, then what? Well, I think probably if you're feeling like you're on the edge of burnout, you've got to get to solitude. You've got to get to me time, as people say, or a, a personal retreat is what I call it. I did one of these just the other day. And this is where you get into solitude, away from your family, away from the workplace, even if it's just a couple of hours, a half day or full day would be even better. And you sort of like take stock, like, who am I? Am I losing myself during mm. this COVID time? Where am I going? Like, do I have a vision or do I have any goals? Set for myself, we've got to like take stock and, uh, and anchor back down. Oh, that's good. Well, uh, you, you talk about burning bright without burning out. So what are some ways that we can fill up our tank to burn bright instead of, you know, reaching that point? Now, filling up your tank is huge. I think especially in the land of COVID that we're in, we've got to have something to look forward to every single day. And at least if not every day, at least every week. And so I encourage my clients to do simply a fills and drains activity. Just take a piece of paper, draw a line down the middle. On the left, put things that fill your emotional tank and give you joy and feed your spirit. And on the right, things that drain your tank and just be honest with yourself. Yeah. Like, these are the things I don't like. And you've got to get that list on the left full of things that fill your emotional tank. Oh, so good. So good, Paul. Thank you so much for your tips on this, and I hope that helps everyone who is feeling this way. Thank you so much. Yeah, and if you are feeling burned out, uh, just remember to give yourself some grace. I know that we're all kind of getting to that point where things are starting to get rough. And I know I myself, I put a lot of pressure on myself to do more than I think I'm doing. And so sometimes you just got to realize that we're in a global pandemic and we're doing the best that we can.